All right, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, 1.5, uh, exploring angle pairs. So make sure that you have this right here written at the top of your page. Our objective is to identify special angle pairs and use a relationship to find angle measurements. So remember, you don't need to have the objective. You just need to have this 1.5, exploring angle pairs at the top of your page. All right. Next is we have uh, some definitions that we need to define. So we have, uh, you're going to make sure that you write down all of these words and their definitions and then make sure that you have these pictures, let's see these pictures all right here written down right next to them. So we'll kind of go through them. Uh, if you need to pause the video at any time to be able to write them all down, make sure that you do it. All right, so the first one that we have is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles uh, have a common side and a common vertex, and they don't and no common interior points. You can't have one angle inside of the other angle. So we see right here, one and two are next to each other, as well as three and four. They would both be adjacent angles. Next, we have vertical angles, are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. So when we're looking at this we have angle 1 right here and angle 2 are opposite rays to each other as well as 3 and 4. So we'd say 1 and 2 are vertical angles and 3 and 4 are also vertical angles. Alright, complementary angles are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. So a lot of times when we see this picture right here we'll see this uh, right angle right here, right angle means that it's 90 degrees. So when we take the sum, when we add 1 and 2 together, it equals 90. Uh, they also don't have to be next to each other. So if we said that angle A and angle B right here, we add them together to equal 90 degrees. Uh, supplementary angles are similar. They have a sum of 180 degrees. So again, when we look at this picture, Angle 3 and angle 4, when we put those together, they equal 180 degrees, a straight line. All right, next we have, right here, we have linear pairs. We're going to make sure that we write this down. And then this definition uh, is a pair of adjacent angles whose uncommon sides are opposite rays. The angles of a linear pair form a straight angle. So we draw this picture right here. Remember, we have opposite rays, BC and BA are opposite rays. They form a straight angle. So that leads us to our postulate 1, 9 right here. We're going to make sure that we write that down as well. It says if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary angles. Remember, supplementary means that they add up to 180 degrees, a straight line. All right, and then our last definition that we're going to write down is angle bisector. So an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into, whoa, really off right there, into two congruent angles. So yeah, my handwriting is not that well right there, but you only have to get that first sentence down. So it splits up. Uh, it divides the angles into two congruent angles. So let's draw this picture right here on the side right here. We see that angle X, A, Y is divided by this uh, angle bisector A, Y right there. And we see the two little lines right there. Those lines mean that it has the same measurement. So if X, A, Y was 20 degrees, then Y, A, Z would also be 20 degrees, that they are congruent. And remember, congruent means that they are the same angle measurement. All right, next we have uh, our problem number one right here. So we're going to make sure that we do problem number one. Uh, you can just draw one of these diagrams on your picture, and we're going to be answering uh, these three questions right here. So the first one says that angle BFD, so we have, let's see, we have that angle right there. Is it adjacent with angle CFD? So let me use a different color. So we have CFD right there. Are they adjacent? Remember, they are next to each other, but angle CFD is inside angle BFD. So since it's inside, they're not touching each other. So we would say false. 
that they are not adjacent. Remember, adjacent just means that they are next to each other, but one angle can't be inside the other angle. So our next question that we have right here, let me erase that right here, we have angle AFB and angle EFD are vertical angles. So we have angle AFB, we have that angle right there. And let me use a different color. Let's go green right here. And angle EFD, EFD, are they vertical angles? Remember, vertical angles are opposite rays. Well, they do look opposite of each other, but since this AFB right here is cut, it's not this full angle right here, that they are not vertical angles because it's a little bit short since this uh, BF is right in between. So they're opposite each other, really close, but no, they are not vertical angles. And then our last one that we have right here, we have is angle, let me erase this really quick, Doo -doo -doo. let's see, okay, uh, angle AFE, so we have angle AFE, so 62 degrees, uh, is complementary with AFC, A, I'm sorry, BFC, so remember, for it to be complementary, they don't have to be next to each other. They just have to add up to 90 degrees. So if I take right here, let's see if I can do this, 62 degrees, and I add it together with this 28 degrees, it should give me, and don't get confused right here by this little smudge mark I have. Let's be nice and neat. So when I add these two together, yes, if they add up to be 90 degrees and it is complementary, yes, when I add these together, they are 90 degrees, so we would say this statement is true. All right, the next question that we have, we're going to write question number two right here, question number two, and it says, what can we conclude from the information in the diagram? So we're going to make sure that we draw the diagram down. Uh, we're just going to write a couple things. We'll do a little bullet points right here. There's a lot of stuff that we could say, but the first thing when I see this right here, I see that angle 1 is congruent with angle 2. Remember when I see those lines right there, those lines are telling me that those angles are congruent. Um, another thing that I see right here is I see that angle 3 and angle 5 are across from each other. Remember they have opposite rays. They are vertical angles. So remember this right here, it's vertical angle with that one right there. Um, let's maybe add just one more. We can say, let's erase that so we have a clean diagram. We say that, let's say angle 5 right here and angle 4, when I put these together, they form a straight line. And remember, we call that supplementary. Forgive my handwriting right here. Supplementary angles. Uh, that's a couple things we could say. A bunch of angles are adjacent to each other. We could say angle one, two, and three form supplementary angles. There's a bunch of different things that we could say, but let's just leave it with those three points right there. All right, next we have, uh, we start having some fun problems right here. So this is going to be problem number three that we're going to put in our notes. Uh, let's make sure I have, let's do uh, black right there. Problem number three right here, problem number three. So uh, a lot of times, like in your homework, it's not going to actually draw the diagram out, but I gave you the diagram right here. You're just going to have to be able to draw it out on your own. So it says that they are a linear pair. And remember, linear pair um, makes supplementary angles. Um, so we have angle KPL is 2x plus 24. And we have angle JPL is 4x plus 36. So we see that these two angles, when they combine together, are supplementary angles, which is a straight line, which equals 180 degrees. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we write the problem down, we have the diagram, and then now we're going to solve it. So we're going to say 2x plus 24. And remember, when we add these two angles together, so I'm going to do plus 4x plus 36, it's going to equal a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Okay, so I add my, um, I combine my terms, I add my x's together, it's going to give me 6x. Uh, I have 24 plus 36. Remember, if you're, you can use a calculator when you're at home, you can use your phone, but when you're in class, you've got to use a regular calculator. But a calculator and geometry right now is no shame in using it. So we have 6x, uh, 24 plus 36 is 60 and it's still going to equal 180. So I subtract 60 from both sides, I get 6x equals 120, and then I'm going to divide 6 to both sides, and this is going to give me, x is going to equal 20 right here. So it says what are the measures right here? So let's put the measures maybe right above. I will do red to kind of match it. So let's go red right here. So if I plug 20 back in, 20 times 2 is 40, 40 plus 24. So let's say I put 2 times 20 plus 24. This is going to equal, and I'll put it up here, this is going to equal 64. And let's switch to blue. All right, so I have right here, I'm going to put 20 back in. So I have 4 times 20 plus 36. That's going to give me 80. 80 plus 36, again, if I need to use my calculator, I can. That's going to give me 116. So what I would do, it's always good to check your work. So how would I check my work? If I take 64 and I add it with 116, it gives me 180, because remember they have to add up to equal 180. All right, then my last problem that I have right here, we're gonna put problem number four. Let me sure we write it out. So it says that AC bisects angle DAB. So let's draw this out right here. Let's say I have my angle right here, and let's say that this is D. A, B, and it says that AC bisects it. So remember our angle bisector, it means that it bisects the two angles congruently. So if they are congruent, a lot of times we just put that line right there that's saying that they are the same. So if angle DAC, and I forgot a C right here, DAC, so if this is C right here, if this angle right here is 58 degrees and this angle bisector bisected it so it's congruent, if this is going to be 58 then CAB is going to be 58 degrees as well. So now it wants to know well, what is angle DAB, what is the whole thing? So if I just take 58 plus 58 right here it's going to give me 116 degrees, put a little degree sign right there. So remember, angle bisector, it bisects it so the two angles are congruent, that they're the same. I add those together and it's going to give me angle DAB is going to equal 116 degrees. Perfect. Well, we have it all right there. See you in class tomorrow.